Hey everyone, it's Adam Ratliff with Adam So Fun, and today I am in the middle of an event. I stayed late because I wanted to um, share something with you that I um, that they're using here. So I am at the Quilting Connection in Elkhorn, and Sue Schmieden is the um, shop owner here, and she is the originator of the quick zip loading system. So she is the original zipper leader loading system person. She started it all, right? Um, so we're in here, we have 12 machines. It's a, a handy quilter van event. Day four, we just finished day four, I'm exhausted. But um, I was like, you guys, do you care if I make a video of your leader or your zipper system? Because I want to share it. Because you know, I use pins, I use red snappers. Here's one more tool in the arsenal to load to load machines. Everybody has the way they like to do their own. And this is just one more option out there for you all. Um, it has some really great benefits. Um, one, fast. So we have, again, 12 machines and people have been different during the event, um, each session. So when someone leaves, we have, I think we loaded, well, one, we loaded eight yards of fabric on the top and the back, right? So when people leave, we grab a zipper, stick it on, channel lock and base that zipper on, cut everything off that the student did. Um, the student takes it with them and then we just zip it right back onto the back later. Can you believe that? It's so fast. So um, I think we changed out five machines today. Um, after the first day when we did basics, um, we reloaded seven machines in less than an hour. Um, and again, eight yards on, on the front and the back bar. So it's really fast. So I wanted to share it with you. Um, this is the backing and their system is, what is it? The quick zip system. I'll link below so you can go to their website and see and everything. Um, this is just quick and this is the first time I'm doing it. They were leaving, I go, um, what are your tips? Cause I'm not reading the directions. Um, so I've already pinned on the backing zipper but it dependent on your frame size. If you have questions, email them, send a message to me. I will hook you up with them. But um, it's called the quick, quick Zip System, linked below, linked below. Um, but basically what you do is you're gonna pin or you can baste or anything you want. They like to pin because they're like, I can sit on the, t on the um, couch and I can pin my um, zipper on while I'm doing something else. And I'm like, I hate binding, but I'll pin a zipper, especially if it's gonna let me load the quilt the next morning in three minutes. So what's unique about them is that they're all stamped. So this, so it tells you where it's going. Like this one, pin to backing fabric, bottom left side, or pin to backing fabric, top left side. Um, this one is pin to top back, top fabric, bottom left side. So they're all marked so you know where you're pinning to. So again, I've already pinned the backing on. I'm gonna be careful in class because there's so much and we're moving them and stuff. They use safety pins, but they said in real life they don't, um, they don't use the safety pins because they can pin it faster with just regular pins. So if you have tried the other systems and maybe you're, it hurts your hands or anything like that, then this might be an option for you. It might be something to try out. I do know that most of the people in class have used these and that they love it. So it's just an option. So this is my, gonna be my bottom left side, pin to bottom left side. I am gonna mark my center. So here's my centers. I can line the fabric up with the teeth and I'm gonna turn this around so I can actually see what I'm doing. Just being careful that everything is lined up correctly. So I lined it up and then I turned it around and pop a pin in here. And I was pinning the other ones on and they were giggling and I'm like, what's so funny? And they said, this isn't like you're pinning on your quilt. This has full coverage. So, you know, usually it's only gonna pull tight where that quilt is uh, pinned on. This gives you a little more um, leverage because it's gonna be tight across the whole top because the, everything's connected. You know, the, it might just be connected at the fabric with your pins, but you're getting a full connection behind that with the zipper. So, and I'm starting at the center and pinning out. Um, right now, when I load, I just load wherever the fabric lands and it doesn't matter. I'm not worried about it. It's, things are gonna line up and go be okay. But in this case, the zippers, because of how they're going to um, be, how they zip on, you, the centers are all going to be lined up. So I am going to line up my center marks, which again, if I'm doing this watching um, the Real Housewives, you know, I can do that. That's fine. 
but they definitely said do not over pin when you're pinning you'll get a little bit of a wave so one of my um one of my pin sides is a little bit wavy because i over pinned i didn't think anyone would ever give me that note so some benefits of the um, zippers speed they're super fast um you don't have to be at your machine so that's always good i'm going to turn this back around so i did the right side and um, this is one of the things that they said. Do you see how that's a little bit wavy? That's because of my pinning. Um, but we were chatting. I need more pins. We were chatting some about like benefits and such. Um, again, I use snappers. And for those of you who use snappers, um, great, fast, not always the easiest, depending on your hand strength. But um, one of the downfalls of a snapper is the... Uh, management of the bulk because you get all that bulk from where the bars clamp on and everything um and it can be kind of hard to manage sometimes especially if it's down towards the beginning of or towards your uh idler bar everything can kind of get in the way no bulk here i mean you have the pins but other than that nothing uh, because everything's going to be zipped on the other thing if you're using rulers and we know I like to use a ruler, um, the rulers will hit those snappers and the snappers will get in the way. So you have to be far enough down from the um, snapper to not have that get in the way. So this, there's, there's no bulk. It's straight, you're zipping it on, it lays flat. And I'll show, here, here's a picture. The leaders are actually made, um, they were saying, if, you, uh, if your leaders start to get a little wavy, um, that they're made to zip up in the center so you can see if it's not quite straight and then you can square up your leader. And I think it took me a few, like five minutes before I picked my mouth up off the floor, my jaw up off the floor. Cause I'm like, how smart is that? That you devise this system that one, doesn't destroy your leaders as much because every time we're pinning, we're pinning into that leader, right? So um, there's no wear and tear on the leader. It's just the zipper. And, um, I forgot what I was saying. Raccoon. It, again, four days. Uh, but less wear and tear on your zipper and, uh, or not your zipper, on your leader. And, oh, that was it. And after a while, if your uh, leaders do start to get a little uneven, really easy to just go back in, zip them up, and then um, re-square them up. So I'm going to have to chat with them tomorrow about like the process of doing that because I think I'm going home with the set of zippers. Um, so you might start seeing zippers in videos. But um, the other great thing about these, if you have multiple sets, you can zip quilts on and off really easy. And um, I know that because we've been doing it. We zip off the stuff that people take on and then just um, how we've been. So let's see, I'm gonna lay this out. So we just quilted this. Someone quilted all this. They want to take this part home. We're laying the zipper out, putting um, our needle down, pulling our bobbin up, channel lock, basting stitch, channel lock, basting stitch. And then we cut right in front of that zipper, unroll the bar, unzip this zipper, pull tab, unzip it, and then um, we grab the piece we just put on and re-zip it. I mean, I should just do a quick video tomorrow whenever we're cutting something off so you can see this because it really is so fast and I'm just like, oh my gosh, why isn't everybody using this? Um, so it's just about speed. Um, accuracy, more accurate because you're pinning in the middle and everything, you can do everything really easy. Oh, that was it, pinning. Um, now, when I pin, all my pins point to the left from wherever I'm standing. So if I'm pinning from the back, everything's going to the left. If I'm pinning from the front, everything's going to the left. I know that. But they were saying, oh, in this case, you can pin from the center out, or center out, and then turn it around, center out, so you're always comfortable when you're pinning that top. Um, but that means that as you're rolling and you smooth everything out, you're never poking yourself with pins because you're always smoothing with your pin. And I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Because when you're at your leader and you're pinning, you're, it's, it's always uncomfortable to pin one of the ways because you're kind of pinning back towards yourself or away from yourself. So this way I can pin this, turn it, and then pin the other side. And I'm always pinning the direction that's comfortable for me. So that's, I mean, that's kind of 
brilliant and awesome. Um, I have everything pinned on. So this is this blue is going to be my top and the dark blue is going to be my backing. I got to move you and find out how I can get this to film. But um, we'll see you back here in a second. <laughs> okay, everyone, lighting is horrible and um, the camera is horrible. I, <laughs> this tripod only has three legs, so you're kind of propped up onto a table. But <laughs> hey, it's gonna do as good as it can. Um, all right, so this is, this is the leader system. They're already loaded on. So, or not they're loaded on. The leaders are on. So the zippers are attached to the leader. Um, she was showing me, like I said, you can, um, gosh, there's batting from class, um, how you can zip them and make sure everything's straight. One, such a bonus. So I'm going to unzip these and this is the back bar, belly or uh, top bar, belly bar, but they're made so they can zip together. Um, they also said, oh, if you happen to put your zipper on wrong, they have a fixer zipper that you can zip on and then zip something off. So then now it fits because how they've designed it so pull tabs are all on one side, which makes it very nice. So here's my backing fabric. Again, this one says pin to backing fabric, bottom left side. So that's gonna be my belly bar. So I'll toss everything over. So this is, you don't really have to do the burrito method this way because I'm still gonna toss everything over. I still want tension to help me roll this up. I'm gonna lock this back bar. Um, and gravity, but I don't have to worry about making the table and everything. I'm going to unlock my belly bar ratchet, pull my leader out, and this has the zipper. This has the zipper pull. Attach these and loaded. All right, lock my ratchet because you know me, I don't roll unless I can hear that click. I'll pull my fabric back. And keep in mind, this is the first time I've ever done this. And I'm doing it alone because I said, don't wait for me. I'll make sure everything's loading nice and smooth. Fix this on my back bar because my leader fell off. And this is one of the... Um, this is one of our classroom frames. It's just a little five foot frame that we use for the um, Handy Quilter Hands On events. So I'm gonna go about there, that's fine. Here's my top bar, I'll flop it back towards myself. And now I'm gonna unlock my ratchet. And I find that probably the number one issue that people are gonna have if you start losing this leader system is missing the idler bar. Cause you know, we're going back and making the burrito right now. We don't have to worry about that. I'm just gonna pop my fabric through pull this out and now I'm going to attach this side to my back now this isn't a big top but imagine if this was a, a huge quilt done I mean that backing is st stitched on the other nice thing because remember I was talking about that bulk of the snappers or any of the kind of grippy systems. They get really bulky up here. No bulk. It is wavy because again, my first time, <laughs> I can show you one that they did, not wavy. But there's that, here's my top. Let's see, it says pin top, to bottom left side of fabric. Going over, pulling the zipper out on the leader and zipping it. I feel like I'm on an infomercial. Where can I get this and how much? Oops. I got so excited I just started rolling without paying attention. Oh my gosh. All right, let's try this again and do it the correct way, Adam. There we go. So if you, if you do have multiple tops or multiple quilts, you can load those leaders on or load those zippers on those tops and um, have them ready. You can load a quilt based 
and then unzip it to load something else. Seriously, that's how fast. Done. How much and where can I get it? Um, so yeah, so these, this is, I forgot, the quick zip system. So some things, you don't need extra backing. I mean, this is just like if backing were loaded. Um, you need extra backing like a quilter, a long arm quilter would use, but you don't need extra like some of the other systems use because we're pinned right to the edge. You know, no, not like we have to have two inches so that we can um, fit into those pressure systems. Um, if I had a ruler, I might hit those, um, those pins a little bit, but we can always um, kind of maneuver around those. We can't maneuver around other things. Um, no bulk. So when I roll this, it rolls right through nice and easy under our idler bar. We're used to all that bulk and like, boom, boom. You know what I'm talking about. And we also have to manage that bulk up on this back bar as we're going so it's not pointing a certain way. So super fast, super easy, um, very straight. I have to say, I, I knew it was straight because I've seen them use it and load it, but this is very, very straight. So that is the quick, wait, what is it? Now I have to go grab it. So that's the quick zip system. Again, I will link it below. The Quilting Connection in Minnesota. Did I say it right? Um. Um, I'm here. I was, but I'm going to be here for five days teaching. I have one more day left, and then I'm driving across country. But um, I didn't have anything on the video queue, and I'm like, can I please just show these off? I think people need to see them. Um, are they for everyone? Maybe not, but. If you have tried the other things and you don't like it, maybe this is the this is the thing. It's like the Goldilocks of loading, right? You're gonna try them all. Um, yeah, check them out. Check them out. Won't hurt you to do that. Um, if you have questions, like I said, you can reach out to me. Um, send them a message. They know that the I said if I make this video, you're gonna get bombarded. But. Um, yeah, if people here love it. So thanks for watching. Like always, please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Um, sorry I'm not as so energetic as I usually am. Like I said, this is day five. And uh, I have one more day and then I'm driving across country. So it's just like, wah. Um, what things, wait, what's next week? You missed my live. It was yesterday. But um, head back to HQ Live and you can see me chat with Christina. That happened on the 10th. Um, anything else that's happening? Oh no, that, yeah, no, that's next week. Today's Saturday. I don't even know what day it is. Um, you know what? I miss you all. Hopefully I see you sometime soon. If you're coming to Academy, um, I'm already there with you. If you're in the first session, um, welcome. And if you're in the second session, we'll see you, I think on Sunday. I don't even know what day is going. Ugh. My mind is blown. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I'm going to stop rambling and we'll catch it in the next video. Bye everyone.